Righto, I'm testing a couple things today, a camera mount and uh, a calibration hat for the gimbal on the joystick. Um, calibration is necessary for profiling the magnetic field of the magnet um, and how the Hall effect sensor reacts to changes in the magnetic field as a result of the magnet moving around. Um, so at the present I've only got one of the springs in here um, so one axis is free to flop about and the other axis is uh, sprung back towards the center. Um, so in order to calibrate we need several data points across the range of the stick on just one axis. Um, it worked in a number of different ways but the best way I've so far found is a, a calibration jig and a calibration hat. So you pop the hat on top of the, the gimbal like so and then you pick one of these notches, I'm not sure if it's coming up on that, there you go. One of the, each of those notches corresponds with five degrees of travel. Um, so the notch fits into a little groove on the calibration hat and then you use that to uh, position, actually that's not the centre one, I'll put it the centre one. You use that notch to check that the uh, stick is at zero and then you take that as a data point for your calibration and then you deflect the stick by 5 degrees by moving it over to the next notch and then uh, make sure it's all seated and settled and then that's another calibration point. I'm not entirely sure how many calibration points are necessary to make it uh, nice but um, I'm not expecting to have to do this terribly often. Um, if I can work out an ideal standardized magnet to use in the base then it's likely I'll just have to do it once but if, if there's a if people want to use their own um, magnets, if they have a, a stock of suitable magnets that they want to use, then they'll have to calibrate it for that field. Um, uncalibrated, it's close enough, but you know, I want nice motion across the entire range. Sweet.